So, is traveling a concern again with the rise of the Delta variant? And are symptoms any different for those who are vaccinated and contract coronavirus? Dr. Malika Marshall joins us now to answer your questions. She makes us feel so much better <laughs> I'm gonna try. when she's here to help us. <laughs> Our first question tonight is from Diane. She asks, I'm 72 and it has been two years since I've seen my daughter in Michigan who are all vaccinated. This Delta variant has me concerned. I watch you religiously <laughs> thank you diane and so appreciate your common sense approach to this pandemic i just need some encouragement to go what well, do you think diane i really think you should try to go i mean if you're fully vaccinated you're not immunocompromised you're feeling well and you'd really like to go visit your family Again, I think you should. Of course, you should talk to your own personal doctor about your decision. But, you know, just keep in mind that you're traveling to a region of the country with lower vaccination rates than the Northeast. So be careful. You want to wear your mask while traveling in public indoor spaces and even outdoors if you're around a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I think we're just going to have to get used to embracing those masks again. That's... We know how to use them. And, uh, you know, I think we should do it. And that's such a good message. If you're vaccinated, you can travel. Yes, right. absolutely. So, just good word. Be careful. Well, well, our next question is from Debbie. She asks, what are the symptoms for COVID-19 for those who are vaccinated already? Yeah, this is a, a good question. First of all, while many of the symptoms from coronavirus are pretty much the same with all the variants, namely things like fever, sore throat, cough, and headache, some reports out of the UK suggest that cough and loss of smell tend to be less common with this Delta variant. Mm. Now, those who are vaccinated who have a breakthrough infection, they usually have no symptoms at all, and the infection is simply picked up with routine testing, or their symptoms are mild with maybe a stuffy nose, a headache, or feeling tired. You can get more moderate symptoms, but mm -hmm. usually none or mild. Right. The vaccine's helping you fight it off. They absolutely right? are. Stephen in Provincetown writes into us and says, I returned to the U.S. in mid-June after spending 18 months in Australia. Before returning, I got two doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine. Should I now get the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine? I'm worried that AstraZeneca doesn't offer the best protection for us. Yeah, I get this question a lot. You know, I certainly understand your concerns, but right now, I don't think you need to get another COVID-19 vaccine because two doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine really should provide good protection mm -hmm. against symptomatic disease and protect you from needing to be hospitalized. Now, again, at some point, a booster shot may be recommended, and there are those studies that are currently underway to see whether it's safe and effective to get a booster shot from a different manufacturer than what you got the first time around. But again, just stay tuned and sit tight. Yeah, we're still waiting for that guidance, right? Our last question is from Marty and Situate, who writes in asking, I received the vaccine and was given a CDC card. My husband's vaccine was registered on his medical record, but he wasn't given the CDC card. Could this present problems for future travel if proof of vaccination is required? You know, I'm surprised your husband didn't actually get one of those CDC cards, but it sounds like that's happening. So what I would do is I would take a photo of your vaccination card and keep it on your smartphone. That's what I've done for my family, for my kids and my husband. For your husband, however, he may want to print out a copy of his vaccines from his electronic medical record and then scan that or take a screenshot of that on a smartphone. You know, I I wish there was a more centralized process both here in Massachusetts and nationwide but I think if you just show up with something that's got a date and clearly shows you've been vaccinated you should sure. be okay for travel I've got photocopies here I've got them at home so and on the phone Dr. Malika Marshall yes. thank you so much for joining us and Dr. Malika offers her best advice but as always consult your personal doctor before making any decisions about your health if you have questions for Dr. Malika here are the three ways to reach her email Dr. Malika at CBS.com, on Twitter at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall. Lisa? Okay.